Now, everyone enjoys a countdown, so this is a countdown of calories linked to the bevy that you're drinking. How about a pint of lager? The equivalent to a Mars bar, so get that down your neck at a whopping 230 calories and remain conscientious to your your diet. And at number 10, a pint of Guinness. At 218 calories, you could alternatively munch an arrow bar. But that's not full of iron like the goodness of Guinness will give you. At number 9, a pint of cider, but cider's pretty minging. But if you insist on downing that horrible apple juice, that's basically the equivalent of three and a half mini chocolate donuts. And at number eight is a Bacardi and Coke. Or swap that for a, a slice of pepperoni pizza from Pizza Hut. Both come in a whopping 195 calories. This Looks a wee bit like a bit of cheating, it's a it's actually a double, a double vodka red and bull. But get that down your neck and it's the equivalent to four chicken McNuggets. At number six, another cheeky little double, a double rum and coke. Believe it or not, this actually equates to a small jacket potato with uh, exactly five grams of butter. But if you want to keep trim, how about a double gin and tonic? It's only 160 calories and just the equivalent of three and a half ginger nut biscuits. And for the discerning vinyl, chuck out those three mini sausage rolls you're eyeing up and instead have a small glass of wine coming in at a meagre 159 calories. Now, uh, one all the ladies will be happy with, a glass of Prosecco is actually only equivalent to a chocolate digestive. A meagre 86 calories, so go on ladies, fill your boots. Now, we're getting to the final two for the conscientious slimmer. The, probably the best one to have is a shot of some booker. That comes in at a very tiny 80 calories. About the same as a, an ounce of a high fat brie cheese, believe it or not. But the winner by far is... A shot of tequila. It roughly equates to the same amount of calories as a a Maryland chocolate chip cookie. So what we've learned is basically if you want to go on a diet, stick to uh, shorts and uh, don't put a mixer in them. Just drink them neat. Drink them. They're very low calories. The next thing that caught my eye, (laughs) now moving to Bolivia, is... The prostitutes out there have come up with a novel idea. In the current climate of the Lurgay spreading all over the world, they're going to start wearing see-through Macintoshes, wear a pair of gloves and carry about a bottle of bleach. As you see, being cretin cats, I'm already prepared, but hmm, I wonder where they originally got that idea from. Now, there's been a murder. Archaeologists, they've found a skeleton that had its hands tied, looks very much like the poor old chap get done in a couple of thousand years ago. But what caught my eye was the article actually says the remains of the 2,000 year old adult male. Hmm. Ah, very much doubt that he probably was 2,000 year old. That would be kind of like saying Henry VIII has uh, just celebrated his 529th birthday. <laughs> a lot of bollocks. In other alcohol-related news, Johnny Walker have announced that they're actually going to produce a bottle made out of paper. This has made me reflect uh, what's actually the best whiskey out there. And straight away I'm discounting bourbon because Jack Daniels and Jim Beam that they leave a horrible aftertaste in your mouth. So, is it a Johnny Walker Black Label? Maybe Ballantine's Finest? A 12-year-old Macmillan? A Glenlivet? Or maybe an old bottle of Chivas Regal? 
Well, the conclusion is none of them. Just fill them full of coke and enjoy it. If you mix it, they all taste the bloody same anyway. But I certainly won't be trying that stuff that's appearing on the screen at the moment. The last thing I want to do is uh, guzzle down uh, a wee bit of knob juice. Now one that makes me delighted that I'm a vegetarian. As we fly over to Brazil, some poor kid bought a meat pie and what did he find in it? A human finger, complete with fingernail and everything. (laughs) Now what gets me, it wasn't a murder victim. Apparently, somebody in the preparation of the pie had accidentally sliced her finger off. I mean, did nobody stop the machinery and fish it out? Just, ah, get on with it. I've got pies to make. Ah, oh, God, that is so minging. And all I can say is, uh, enjoy your dinner, folks. And finally, one of those stories that just make you think, WTF. A woman who's bang into her horoscopes got a tattoo in her leg of uh, a lion because obviously she's a Leo. But a recent... NASA blog has now come out and said there's a 13th sign, which a lot of astrologists, they don't recognise it and I don't blame them because God knows how you pronounce it, but I'll have a stab. Or fuchsias, maybe. Looks a wee bit like that. But what's great is this woman genuinely really seems pissed off that she's no longer a Leo, she's actually cancer. And having looked at all the traits, she doesn't feel like a cancer. Well, sorry my dear, you've wasted 170 quid on the tattoo. You know, just need to get one of a crab put on you now, if they're not already there.